Good morning, folks. A beautiful fall morning. It is about 42 degrees outside. And here's what's left of the garden. We had our first hard freeze last night. So the tomatoes are done. <laughs> the lima beans, which never produced one pod, by the way, uh, are done. And they never really were. But, I mean, the plant is done. Uh, of course, the flowers, marigolds, zinnias that we planted. And uh, there's some echinacea over here. Uh, yesterday afternoon, these were all beautiful plants, uh, beautiful flowers. And overnight freeze has taken them out but before the freeze came last night we came out and harvested as much of the uh, lettuce that was uh, you know still here as we could uh, we'll eat that up or give some of it away but we didn't want it to get frozen and go to waste um, <clears throat> so and then we also have uh, some chive garlic uh, over there that is uh, we we took half of it and decided to leave half of it to see uh, how it would fare but um, so anyway that's what's left of the garden and uh, we grabbed up the herbs we had some dill planted right here that we uh, snatched up last night um, these are all root vegetables these are turnips and radishes and I've got a few volunteer beets over there that we just left in the ground because root vegetables uh, can tend to winter over uh, a lot better, a little hardier. This here, it looks like we've got right there some kind of brassicate coming up. I can't remember if it's cauliflower or uh, broccoli or something like that. We never got any of it to grow, but I mean, heck, if it'll come up, volunteer and stay there and whatever, whatever. that's fine. We'll leave it. But uh, yeah time to let the garden go for the season now and all these nice uh, elm leaves from the neighborhood have fallen down on it and uh, we'll see what uh, uh, we'll see how well they mulch the garden anyway oh Robert found a couple of uh, tomatoes they're frozen oh they're frozen yeah, feel yeah it. they're froze oh yeah they're done <laughs> we blend those up into a green salsa or, or put them in the compost pile <laughs> <laughs> so so that's it so we as i said we snatched up the herbs and uh we are <laughs> robber smash that i'm sure um we are gonna go uh and uh preserve our herbs we've got some sage uh some basil and some dill uh that we need to uh we need to get preserved so that's what we're gonna do we're going to dry this dill and the first step you do is you kind of tie it all together, wire it. I'm using this twisty tie. I suppose you can tie it with cord or something like that, but I'm just going to use this. That's the first step, like such. After you get your dill all bundled together, you can cut some holes in a paper sack, like such. I'm going to make them kind of cross, you know, on either side and then I guess on, um, not on the bottom. But I'm going to put them on either side because you want to have enough air circulating through the bag to keep it dry and to keep the dill from molding. And you can check back on it and make sure it's not getting damp. And if it is, you can cut more holes in it to make sure more air is able to get through to help the dill to dry quickly. So now you just put it in here like such. Probably need to cut some in that side. <laughs> okay. We, I cut more holes in the paper bag. Each chip helps staple this up. So now all you do is you hang it up in a warm, dry place. And in a couple of weeks, you have dry dill. Then you chop it up or pull it apart and seal it away for the year. No way. That's going. That's going to my salad dressing as soon as possible. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then fresh dressing. And next year's pickles. <laughs> we are going to hang the bag of dill on one of our pantry shelves. <laughs> and it will be in a in a warm, dry place. Uh, like a pinata. And then in a couple of weeks when it's dry, we'll beat it with a stick. <laughs> I can't. I guess I'll just tie it like Yeah, this. tie it anywhere. 
The next ones we're going to dry in the oven. We're going to dry some chives, basil, and sage. And that ain't no chive. <laughs> That's a close-up. Dry dill, dry.